Larry, what are your thoughts today? Well, it's a sad day for me because uh, Jack was a truly exceptional person in all dimensions. He, he took, had the courage. He, he was certainly competitive, had a great vision in terms of what GE could be, took some difficult actions for which he was criticized to reposition it for the decades that were to follow. And, of course, the results have been obvious, including some of the statistics that you just mentioned. Uh, I thought that the most amazing thing about him was he had the ability to see around corners. He anticipated things and allowed GE to take advantage of opportunity or prepare for some negative happenings that might occur as well. And so by virtue of that, of that commitment and that courage, uh, he was just a remarkable leader. How did you guys meet each other, and what was it like knowing him over the years? Well, we met in 1978, and uh, I, was, I was with GE Capital at the time and a little bit tired of the GE bureaucracy and, and was looking about ways to leave. And we had a meeting in Hawaii. Welsh had just been appointed the head of the materials sector, and he came to Hawaii. GE Capital was a part of the materials sector. He came to Hawaii. We got into a ping-pong match. And we both were falling on the ground trying to win. <laughs> and I said to myself, this guy's competitive. And then at the, only, at the end of the conversation, he said, look, I know your frustrations, but give me a shot, will you? And the rest is history. Larry, it's Brian Sullivan. Can you give us another anecdote? We like the ping pong one that you just told us. Give us something else that we may not know about Mr. Welch. I remember we were going into a significant negotiation. We had two approaches, and we were going to give the person with whom we were meeting, the less desirable of the two approaches, and then fall back on a better one if we couldn't sell him in the first. Well, it turns out that he gave him the better proposal first. And just as the guy was about to open up, he recognized it, pulled it from his hand, and said, oh, that, that's our inferior proposal. We have a better one now. And he, re he gave him the one he should have given him at the outset, and uh, he got away with it. And that just goes to show, Larry, his competitive spirit, was that right? For NBC? His, his, yeah, his, <laughs> his winning. We'd love to know uh, uh, what, what deal that was in the making. Um, what do you think when people talk about Jack's legacy? There's going to be a lot about what he'll be remembered for. What do you think is something that's misunderstood about him? Well, first of all, he, he, was, he was a compassionate guy, despite this neutron Jack appellation that's been tagged with him. But also, he was fun. I mean, he celebrated. He, he shared praise generously with those around him. And he was just a good guy to be around, and he had a remarkable ability to rally you around whatever he wanted to achieve. Wow, so people whoa. enjoyed working with him. He was demanding and tough, but he was fair. Uh, he was very candid, and he changed the culture of GE by virtue of those characteristics. Larry, thanks so much for joining us. Share your recollections today. My pleasure.